sir. I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to start by saying, uh, even though we're in 2015, yes. uh, you did make one of my favorite films of last year, which is John Wick. Cool. I, I just want to throw that out there by being very clear at how fucking awesome that movie is. The so, Wick? John Wick? Yes. That was fun. Um, yeah. Uh, have you heard that from everyone, though, that everyone loved? Because I don't know anyone that said a bad thing about that movie. No one. Well, that's nice. Um, yeah, I've met a couple of people on the street, you know. I've, uh, actually, it was fun the other day. Somebody just came up and said, how do you do, Mr. Wick? <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's fun. I totally screwed up my introduction today with you. I Why? absolutely, I should have just been like Mr. Wick. It's a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Wick. Yeah. Um, no, but I really, legitimately, I love the movie so much. And I normally save this for the end, but I have to ask. Your work with, uh, with, with those guys was so good. And I'm so excited to see what you guys would do with this Rain TV series. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. there any update on that? Um, yeah, we've been uh, meeting with the showrunners. Um, and uh, the, the, the series in, in an idea got picked up by Cinemax. Um, so we're just kind of the, uh, the showrunners, um, Mark Abrams and Chris Collins are, are um, writing the pilot in, this, in the first show, or the first two shows. Sure. And uh, so the team, uh, Dave, Dave Leach and Chad Stahelski and, um, and the showrunners were all kind of coming together and uh, kind of putting it together, trying to figure out what the shows will be, what it will be. I have to tell you, I love Banshee, which is on Cinemax. Yeah, I haven't seen Banshee yet. Banshee is fantastic, and it has a great mix of story, action, violence. It's really well done. That but sounds I, good. Yeah, I would imagine, though, that Rain will push it even further. Um, do you, are you familiar at all with the books? Uh, I'm not as familiar with the books as I should be. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's a good read. It's, uh, it's a series, I believe, of eight books by uh, Barry Eisler. Um, so the material's based on source material, um, the character. Um, yeah, I, I recommend them. And yes, I mean, it, there's some, yeah, there's a little sex. I mean, it's a, more about love than sex. And then there's some, I mean, I'm playing an assassin. Uh, but, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you know how I feel about you doing action roles. Yeah. So just throwing that Action's out there. Action's good. Action's yeah. fun. I, I'm a big fan. Let's get to why I get to talk to you today. Okay. You have a movie that just premiered at Sundance last night. Yes. Talk. For knock knock. Exactly, and the, uh, the teaser is online so people can watch it. Cool. Um, talk a little bit about uh, being part of Sundance, and most people won't know much about the movie, so tease a little bit about who you play and what it's about. Okay, um, thank you. It's, uh, it's directed by Eli Roth. Um, it was, it's a kind of home invasion psychological drama. I play a father, husband, Evan Weber, architect, who's alone for the weekend because he's got to work, so the wife and two kids are away. It's late at night, it's raining, knock, knock. Two beautiful young ladies are standing there, um, wonderful actresses, Lorenza Izzo and um, Ana de Armes, and uh, hijinks ensue. I try to, I'm a good guy, I'm a nice guy, I'm trying to help them out. Um, and then they, uh, they seduce me or something. Right. They, they make an offer I can't refuse, but should refuse. And so uh, I get punished. <laughs> um, Eli is known for pushing boundaries yes. and doing some crazy shit. Yes. How much crazy shit gets done in this movie? Um, a little bit. Uh, there's, uh, it's, not a kind of, it's not a gore film. It's not looking for gore and... Um, but there is psychological terror. I mean, I get stabbed. I mean, there's stabbing, <laughs> people getting tied up. There's rape, male rape in a way. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, and some torture. When you sign, <laughs> when, when you, but it's not torture porn. Right? I, I mean, it's not saw. Right? I completely understand. What was that initial meeting like with? Eli for the project, did he lay out the entire thing for you and say, this is what I'm envisioning? Or was it sort of like, we want to work together, let's find something that might be cool? Uh, they sent me a script, um, which is, was great. You know, I mean, the film is also funny. I mean, there's comedy in it, there's some horror, there's some suspense, um, lots to think about. And um, so it was just, a, I, I reacted to the screenplay and of course to Eli. Um, and so after I read it, we Skyped. He was in Chile. We filmed in Santiago, Chile. He uh, has a, a producing partner down there, Nicholas Lopez, and writing partner. Um, and they've produced together. Uh, so we all went down to Santiago, Chile, Chile to make a movie. Uh, it sounds like it might be a lot of fun. It was fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, 
what is it like for you now? You've done so many iconic roles and been in so many big movies. What is it like when you casually meet people, you know, like whether it be at Sundance or at a Starbucks or even at the mall, is there one project that people always want to talk about or is it sort of like every day it's just 10 different things? Um, yeah, once in, a people say, once in a while people say hi. I mean, I would say for the, I would say in the list probably the Matrix trilogy wins. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, oftentimes people come up and talk about films that they've seen, and as you say, being around a long time, it, it's I, I've uh, recently been getting my mom loves you. Uh, but then I also right, meet some of the then some of the kids have seen John Wick or A Scanner Darkly, um, and uh, yeah, and it's fun. I mean, it's it's cool. To, it's nice to to have that interaction with the audience, if, you know, when they if they like the work, um, you know, to to hear how they you know. Once in a while, you get some hardball, you know. It's a film I did, you know. It's a baseball sure, no, movie. Yeah, no, a while ago. Um, a while ago, yeah. And so, yeah. And then uh, recently, you know, I get a lot of people saying, "47 Ronin wasn't that bad." <laughs> I actually watched it twice. I'm like, yeah, 47 Ronin. I have to try. I want to jump into some of the other things you've done. Uh, since John Wick, I believe you've made a project or two, and I would love it if we like could uh, mention other things you've been working on. Oh, thanks for that, man. Uh, uh, let's see, so after John Wick was a little knock-knock, um, and then I got to work with the f wonderful director, uh, Courtney Hunt, on a uh, courtroom drama called The Whole Truth. And then recently, just before the holidays, I finished a picture called Daughter of God. Totally. Um, which is, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing. Well, can you, can you talk about like, uh, who you play in these movies, and what was it about the projects that wanted you, uh, that made you get involved? Sure. Uh, with uh, The Whole Truth, Courtney Hunt as a director, and then the script. Um, it's called The Whole Truth, it's, um, uh, but not everyone, actually no one is telling the truth. And I always like that. I think that's fun. Um, playing a lawyer who's trying to defend a, a kid for, in a, a, a patricide case, he's accused of killing his father. Um, um, and so, but that there's some twists and turns in that. And uh, um, Daughter of God, I'm playing a uh, homicide detective who's investigating the murder of his partner. At the same time, the actress Ana de Armes um, is in Daughter of God. Most of the film's in Spanish and then English. So the detective side is in English and then her story is um, in Spanish. Uh, and so as I'm kind of trying to find out who murdered uh, my partner this young woman, you don't really find out until the end all of the things that have happened to her, but she was involved with my partner. And um, there's a little bit of a sixth sense quality to it, um, okay. but it's um, much heavier. It involves like rape and. Oh, of course. You know. I, you did great work. Murder. <laughs> you did great work with Man of Tai Chi. And when we last spoke, uh, I, I asked you, when are you going to start, direct, if you're going to do another directing gig? Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned sort of, I'm thinking about things, I'm not sure. Yeah. Is there anything bubbling up? Because uh, you did really great work with, oh, with that, that movie. Steve. Thanks. Um, no, I don't have the story to tell yet. That is not the answer I'm looking for. Well, that's the answer, that's the answer. Right, but I need the answer that basically says, I'm gearing up to shoot in late 2015. Ah, I have, that sounds great. Right, exactly. That sounds great. Great. Can we just, just lie and I say that? I just don't that... know what um, I'm doing. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, gotta, I have to have the, you have to have the story to tell. Otherwise, right. there's no yeah. story to tell. But you had a good time making Man of Tai Chi. Yeah. It was, uh, so is it, it, was is, it, is it something that you're reading novels? Are you being sent scripts and people are saying, are you interested in this? Or is, it, are you, is that sort of on the back burner with um, all this for other... For me, professionally around me, um, they're kind of like going at my pace. So I'm, I haven't asked for any material, any source material. Um, but I'm still kind of, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm out there, I'm listening, looking. I, I, I completely understand. Um, as I said earlier, uh, I really like it when you do action, and John Wick was such a great return to form with you doing action. Um, what's coming up for you that you're thinking about this year, assuming the TV show goes, I'm imagining that would be this year. Um, um, probably the end of this year, maybe beginning of next year. So what are you, th yeah, I'm gonna do that too because I wanna see it. Um, what, what are you thinking about though for this year in terms of is there a genre that you wanna work in? Um, you know, is there a director that you- What's gonna happen? I don't know what's gonna happen, Steve. 
Okay. I mean, I'm coming out of it, you know. Uh, you know, one thing that, that was fun, which I really enjoyed with Knock Knock, was getting back into comedy. You know, there's a, there's a lot of comedy in it, physical comedy, comedy of behavior um, and word. Uh, so that was fun. I'd like to maybe go do some more comedy. Um, I'd also like to do some more action. Uh, you know, just really hoping to find a good story, work with a great director and find a role. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got a couple projects trying to develop and put together, but uh, it's, uh, you know, that also takes time. Uh, I have to ask, I, you know that I, I really enjoyed your work on, in Constantine. And uh, uh, so I have to ask, did you watch the TV show at all? No, I didn't get a chance to watch that. So I think it's still on NBC, but cool. it's like 13 episodes. But awesome. Is that uh, so? How did you watch it? I haven't watched it yet. It's on my DVR. Oh, cool. So we're, we're there. And okay. here's another thing. I've asked you this in the past. I'll ask it again. What I have no Constantine update. I no, think no, 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 no. That role, that ship has sailed for yeah. Mr. Reed. No, no, different, different question altogether. Unfortunately. What do I need to do to get you to go to Point Break Live in L.A.? Is that still going? I don't know, but let, I'll, I'll bet you if you want to go, we'll, we'll be able to get you in. <laughs> well, if I do that, I'll find you. Okay, sure. I have to, it's just a kidding around thing, but... Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you, you know what I mean. Of course. But uh, I thought it would be fun. Yeah. Um, you uh, obviously have the ability to be into a lot of different things in terms of collecting. What's the last wacky thing that you've bought just for yourself as like a gift, whether it be a guitar, typewriter? A gift for someone else for or you. for myself? Yeah, motorcycle. Like a gift to me. Yes, because of whatever reason. Because I needed a gift for me. Um, or is there anything buy? that you've recently started collecting? Uh, no, no, I'm trying to think. There was something. This is as personal as I get, by the way. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what did I? I got something for the house the other day. What did I get? What was that? I don't remember. I'm gonna leave you by saying uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Super happy uh, with everything that's going your way. And whatever I need to do for John Wick too, please let me know. Okay, thank you. I'm so serious. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much.